That is so very loud, but I don't even think the mic is able to pick it up. There's someone using a leaf blower. It's probably my neighbors upstairs just playing a good old practical joke on me down here. You know, some good old hijinks. Might as well just start a fucking leaf blower for some fun. But anyway, yeah, uh, I just wanted to share this video with all of you because I believe it to be one of the most inspiring rap performances ever given. It's from the one, the only, the ass blaster, supreme Mike DC performing his smash hit Marilyn Manson in front of an elementary school live. And uh, yeah, I'm going to hit play. But I want you guys to make some noise for Mike DC right now. Get it Thank loud. you guys. Let's go. Dick's out for Haramik. Quick, dank, filthy meme slime to get everyone energized real quick. Count us all these racks up in my mansion. All these butt naked bitches dancing. So Weird Al wanders out onto the stage and sets the tone early, letting you know that this song you're about to hear is explicit, so you better brace for some fucking impact. Beat the pussy up and need a bandit. I fuck hoes like I'm Marilyn Manson. Bitch worship me like Charles Manson. Spoiler alert, most of the song doesn't rhyme. What you just heard right there is about the extent of this man's rhyming prowess. He just rhymes Manson with Manson throughout. And the song is basically just... Him comparing his sexual habits to that of Marilyn Manson, he implies that he has coitus with women in similar style as Marilyn Manson would. Manson. She wanna fuck better bring the bands in. Don't give a fuck about no goddamn bitch. Unless she sucks on this goddamn dick. Did you catch that? I'll replay it just in case. On this goddamn dick. At the end of him spitting some fire, some real hard-hitting bars, suck on this goddamn dick, there is a hype man on the track saying, my penis, just for clarification for everyone in the crowd who might not have understood about sucking on this goddamn dick. Now this is honestly a trend in modern hip-hop that I fucking love, absolutely adore, where the rapper will say something and then the backing track will say something else, you know, like, I make milk shoot out of my cock in the background, talking about cum, something like that. I love that kind of shit. I feel like it adds a whole nother element to the song that wouldn't be there without it. And it's just, it's fucking beautiful. And Mike DC fucking slays it with the backing hype man vocals, literally just puts his ass on the stage with that shit. It's fucking beautiful. All this money in my fucking pocket. Let anybody try and fucking rob it. I'm trapped up with a fucking rocket. If there's anything I can criticize about this performance, it's the camera work. Really, there was no fault of Mike DC here. But for some reason, the crowd wasn't into it, so the cameras shouldn't have shown the crowd as he's singing it, because they weren't reacting very well. Yeah, that one girl there kind of bounces up and down a little bit and makes the most of the performance. You can see it for the art that it truly is, but everyone else is just kind of bored by it, maybe even a little uncomfortable. I might go as far as to say disturbed by it, and they shouldn't show that, because Mike DC doesn't deserve that kind of treatment. He just had a really dead crowd that just doesn't understand good music, so they should have just cut, you know, the crowd reactions out. <laughs> Shut the fuck up and suck the dick. Another splendid example of the lack of professionalism by the cameraman at this event. So the cameraman must have either fallen asleep or maybe got a text message from his grandma being very upset with him. Damn it, why didn't you invite me out? You know how badly I've been wanting to see Mike DC live. So he's not focused on Mike DC. He's got the camera in the complete opposite direction. He realizes this has a quick panic attack. Oh, fuck. Where's Mike DC now? Where'd that little rascal go? Is he on the ceiling? Is he underground? Oh, there he is. He's still on the stage. What are the odds? Then quickly pans right back to him. Yeah, it didn't take very long. It's a very little thing, but it's the little things that make a huge difference. This is Mike fucking DC. This is Mike motherfucking DC. You don't have the decency to keep the camera on him, please? I mean, come on. This is his world. We're just living in it. Count up all these racks up in my mansion. Mansion. All these butt naked bitches dancing. Twerking on my dick? That's right. I've learned the lyrics to this song. No lie. I fuck hoes like I'm Marilyn Manson. Like he's Marilyn Manson. Once again, making the same mistake, showing the very unentertained crowd here. Mac from It's Always Sunny in the yellow shirt certainly is enjoying the performance, but I'm trying to. So don't kill my vibe by showing me this crowd that's not feeling the vibe. Just because they're not on the same wavelength, they're feeling the same frequencies Mike DC is, doesn't mean that I'm not. There's some shit like that, I don't know, I completely lost my point there. All I'm saying is, I'm a fucking fan. I've got the Mike DC fever. I've got Mad Cow DCs. 
Famous for sound like I'm Maryland Got the words in the aquarium So I ain't marrying you What the fuck that you thought I am I keep the barium And I got the arms and barium You know that they get very rich Especially me having said Down to come fuck up on any bitch Like he, I got the scary thing It is so big I don't think it'll ever fit I be fucking hoes I'm the fucking man All designer clothes Got it from Japan Make a bopper dance and I'ma fuck that hoe cause I'm Maryland man sis Count up all these racks up in my I believe the mic quality is suboptimal for this performance. It wasn't properly calibrated to compensate for Mike DC's fire, because when he was rapping very fast, it sounded like someone starting up an old blender. I'm sure the rhymes were absolutely masterfully crafted, though, as, rest, as the rest of the song was. Now, look at this image here. This is a very common thing rappers do, and they really start spitting it hard. They'll really clutch their nuts real nice and firmly, you know, give it a real good tug. Just keep their hand there. But Mike DC is taking this a step further. He's going under. Look at look at his hand placement. He's reaching under his ball sack and he's tickling his taint. He's like congratulating himself, poking his asshole and shit. He's he's innovating on here. He's innovating on the stage right now. He's not just grabbing his nuts. He's going the whole nine yards. So the song continues and you're going to notice he's just going to keep flicking his bean there, just playing with his clitoris on stage and whatnot. And really, it just adds a whole new flavor to this already great performance. Bad shit. Fucking rich. All these butt naked bitches dancing. Beat the pussy up and need a bandage. I fuck holes like I'm Marilyn Manson. I fuck holes like I'm Marilyn Manson. I fuck holes like I'm Marilyn Manson. I fuck hoes like I'm Marilyn Manson. I fuck hoes like I'm Marilyn Manson, bitch. All right. I want Mike DC to perform at this year's Super Bowl. He could give the most explosive halftime show the NFL has ever seen. But yeah, that's about it. See ya.